A Coon Rapids man nearing the end of his life is finding peace and joy during a difficult time. Music therapy sessions are offering Leland Tate a chance to express himself and a distraction from the pain. High school band, I, I played the tuba. We had a parade schedule for a stormy day and it was really a bad day for a storm. And we were, when we marched downtown and turned the corner, went right into the to wind. The wind caught that, that uh, bell on that horn. I went over backwards and I took about three or four people with me. <laughs> From early on, Lee Tate of Coon Rapids had a song to sing. He played tuba in the band and found his voice in the choir. He had a great leader and it didn't make any difference to him whether you were a good singer or not. He'd take you on and teach you the basics. He carried those tunes with him throughout life, sharing songs with his family and meeting friends along the way. All the time he was singing, he would sing kid songs when we were young and always hymns and church songs. I hope I can keep going for a while, but I, I don't know. My voice isn't really good anymore. At age 88, Lee and his loved ones know his time is short. He has leukemia and he's stopped any um, aggressive treatment. Now in hospice care, Lee spends his afternoons with Kim Best, who shares her talents and offers an ear. I came in and I introduced myself and and then very quickly I sang a song and he just jumped in. And he's like, oh, I can't sing anymore, but he still can. I ring good night, I ring good night. I remember the first couple times I went to see him, he didn't really open up with me a lot. Over a few months of working with him, now he'll tell me stories and express his feelings and he'll ask for certain songs. And so now he just, he'll open up if, if I ask. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. As a music therapist with Mary T. Inc., Kim sings and strums for those approaching their final days. In hospice, I will meet a, a patient and I'll assess them for what goals do I want to reach with this person. You know, do they have physical needs? Are they in pain? Do they have emotional or spiritual needs that they have to express? Or even do they have social needs? Are they in their room and not socializing with anyone? And so I will use um, music in a clinical and therapeutic way to reach those goals, to help decrease their pain or to help express their emotions through song um, or through you know, talking with them and relating it to the song. Um, so there's a lot of different techniques that we use. A big part of, of hospice care is meeting people where they're at and taking them through the dying process. And so it's not always going to be happy, it's not always going to be fun, but it is still important to, um, to meet those emotions. Kim says it hasn't been easy losing patients, but she sees the rewards every day. So I can never meet someone and not form a relationship with them if I'm working with them. It is difficult um, working with people who are dying, but I think it's amazing to meet them at this stage of life and show them that they still have life to live. Some days you're good, some days not. When this life is over, I'll fly away. The Navy veteran says some of the songs he and Kim sing make him think about his wife Margaret, who died about 10 years ago. Where will you fly away to? I'm going to go to heaven. I'm going to go to heaven. Yeah. And when I get there, Margaret's going to be waiting for me. She's going to be waiting for you. She'll be there. Yeah. We just bought. They were married for 47 years. It's been hard not to have her. Gloria is my daughter. Without her, I don't know what I could do now. It's been, what, 10 years of that? Lee's strong faith is also reflected in song. Glory, glory, hallelujah. That was very important. You can get off base and you've got to have something to come back to. I've had these songs now for quite a long time and I can pick them up and sing them. 
It's more fun to see somebody else to sing with me. But for the young people just coming out of school, I would recommend them to get into some kind of a musical program, whether it's a small choir or some are good enough so they can go professional. Some aren't, I'm not. But uh, stay with it. Staff at Lee's Home, Cherrywood Advanced Living in Andover, have noticed how patients find recovery in rhythm and healing in harmony. It gives them something else to focus on besides their pain. And it helps. This is a great bunch of people here. I can call on any one of them and they'll be with me in just a matter of minutes. Using music as the medium can really open up a different side of a person. And because it's something fun, people don't realize that, oh, this, you know, I'm actually doing therapy right now. So it's easy for him to express those things because he's having a good time and he's relating his emotions to the lyrics in the song. And I want to see Dad have, you know, enjoyment and good times, you know, all the time. Try to make life good and as best we can. Before the music therapy session, Leland said he had pain in his knee. After the session, he said that pain was cut in half. 